Not to look at, you know, larger social issues simply because of a group that I represent and that I'm in. But I have to stay focused and I try to stay focused on this small piece. I got AIDS. I deserve a joint. That's it. Right. Point blank. But 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 by that by That's doing it. that by doing that one thing and focusing on one thing, you are spreading it so much farther than that. I mean, just the fact that I know about it, just the fact that I found out about it a couple of years ago. Yeah. Howard Dover goes, uh, "Hey man, we're doing this uh, benefit for the. Sure. You want to help out?" I go, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and he goes, "Well, there's a place that you can go where you you can. They actually dispense marijuana." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking all the douchebags I gotta deal with to buy weed from. I'm buying weed in big quantities just so I don't have to talk to these dickheads. You know, I'm like, they, they went, hey man, how's the shot, dude? This isn't gonna happen. I'm gonna give you a ton of cash and you're gonna give me a bag of plants and then that, we're not gonna talk for a while. I'm gonna find another guy because I don't want you telling everybody you're selling me shit because you're a fucking weirdo. You know? And then all of a sudden he goes, there's this place and they, they, they see you, get, you get a medical card and then you go and you can buy it there. I'm like, what? I'm like, I can help them? Fuck yeah! I'm like, what am I gonna do? And then I'm telling people about it. I'm handing them out lollipops. I'm like, oh, this, this is the shit! And people are like, where do you get these? And I'm like, dude, I'll give you the name of a doctor. I'm always emailing people doctors' addresses. I'm like, just go! You know, and the, and the reality of it is, a lot of people have been self-medicating forever. Fuck yeah! But they had no idea of why at home, in their own privacy, they use cannabis. They had no idea. They had no idea it was because it does tone down the day a little bit. Because it does help you sleep a little bit so you won't have to go get that Tylenol PM, the Tylenol XM, the Tylenol, what other kind of Tylenols do they have out there? It helps your perspective. Sure. It helps your perspective, it, without a doubt. It makes you see things just like, you know, you just get a little bit above the smoke and you just get a little better view. But what benefit? But Joe, there's no you benefit know? to anyone. No, there's no benefit. <laughs> you can't sell that benefit now. No, you can't sell that benefit for fun. <laughs> it helps, <laughs> benefits me. You know, what do you say to people that still, like, the, the people that still use this argument where they're like, okay, THC may be a good drug, but they still have this idea that, uh, but that smoking something Dude, is not a legitimate. Life. I am the I'm the answer to that. I'm the perfect answer to that. I'm the answer to it makes you lazy. Dude, I work out at least five days a week. I was a U.S. national Taekwondo champion. I do jujitsu four days a week. I lift weights at least three days a week on top of that. I'm constantly active. I do stand-up comedy every fucking weekend. Never take time off. Constantly writing material. I do Fear Factor. I was doing Fear Factor and The Man Show and jujitsu, smoking weed every fucking day. <laughs> every day. It helps me. It helps me in every way. It makes me more it makes me much more enthusiastic about things Go that on, I actually enjoy doing sure. much sure. more enthusiastic sure. so it doesn't like take away your motivation sure. Sure. it'll just take away your motivation to do something that fucking sucks but I think his question I think, I, I think I, but I think his question was was on the lines of one of the other false arguments that's thrown out there is the fact that you have to inhale it and smoke it but even if you do smoke it, I'm telling you, it doesn't hurt you. But the fact My is... My cardio is fantastic. There are those who choose to smoke it. Right. But there are those who... Can. There are better ways that you don't have to smoke yeah, it now. Yeah, absolutely. The vaporizer is a wonderful thing. Sure. That's not smoking sure. it at all. That's lollipops. not getting it. The lollipops. Lollipops. The brownie. Shit. Brownie. Those lollipops, man, that's a smooth, mellow high mm -hmm. that lasts for hours. Mm -hmm. There's no... And I don't buy any of the damage on the lungs thing with the smoke. I don't no buy it. To that. If that was the sole argument, then there still is no justification for making the whole plan illegal. Absolutely. But I don't even buy the fact that it damages your lungs. I don't buy it. It's a different experience. Smoking the, the marijuana plant is very different than smoking tobacco or smoking cigarettes. It's just different. Mm -hmm. It has a different effect. It doesn't ever harm. My, I, I've been an athlete my whole life. Sure. I feel zero pro I get high and do jujitsu all the time. Mm -hmm. All the, the best guys that I know get high and then work out. Well, it doesn't I, also... The cannabis that, 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 that's here is natural and doesn't have the ammonia added to it. It doesn't have all the extra things added to it to give it a better flavor. It's a very natural product. And therefore, it won't have those addictive qualities of a cigarette that 
you know, that they... Yeah, but even injecting. damaging you, even mm -hmm. smoking the natural plant, I mean, they, they, I don't believe that that smoke damages you. I don't think it does any harm. Because my friends all do it and no one's experiencing any harm. My friend Eddie, all right, my friend Eddie is uh, a world-renowned jiu-jitsu champion. Mm -hmm. And he's the guy who talked me into smoking weed. Mm -hmm. I started smoking weed because I started working out with him. I've been doing jiu-jitsu with him for a while. And, uh, you know, we were both in the same, he was really good. Everybody, like, looked up to him. It was phenomenal. And I was, uh, and we, we started talking about weed. He's like, I smoke weed every day. And I was like, damn, really? And I'm an, I'm an open-minded guy. And I, I, and back in Boston, I just, the real problem was I hung around with a bunch of fucking idiots. And the people that I knew that smoked pot were idiots and pot wasn't helping them. If you got a little low-watt brain and you supercharge it with fucking jet fuel, sure. you still got a low-watt brain. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. It doesn't help. You know absolutely. what it's like. Absolutely. So I associated pot with stupid people. Now, here I meet this genius guy, incredibly smart, and he smokes pot all the time. And I, I'm an open-minded person. I'm willing to drop all previous, you know, preconceived notions sure. that I have sure. and go, okay, I'll try it. What do you sure. got? And I, I remember very clearly the day I got high with him. It was like less than four years ago. I remember that day going, fuck! <laughs> it was like I shot through a fucking cannon and all of a sudden I was on the, on the other side. Sure. And he was like, dude, glad you have your over here. And I'm like, glad to be over here. Yeah, sure. Fuck, I can't believe I was over there. <laughs> Shit. We had ice cream sundaes. I was like, I can't believe how good this tastes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ice cream and fucking vanilla fudge. Mm -hmm. I'm like, does everybody know about this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hot fudge and vanilla ice cream. God damn. And then thinking, I was just like, oh, my million.